I went in there and said, uh, Charlotte's an NCAA tournament team. I feel that, and I'm very confident in that they're going to win that league. Even though, uh, who is it, Louisiana Tech is really good with Coach White. I think they're going to win that league. They're very deep. They're a very good team, well coached. Um, so I feel like that was an NCAA tournament team. That was an NCAA tournament game. That's what it felt like to me. Now, it's been a few years since I've been in the NCAA tournament, but that's what it felt like. You know, my days at Villanova and BU, that's what it felt like. Um, so that was a, that's a positive. And the fact that we came out 2-1, and one, that's a positive. The fact that diff, we got different contributions from different guys, that's a positive. Um, so I'm drawing a lot of positives from this um, and feel very good about where, where we're headed. However, we need to practice. Whoever put this schedule together really needs to get their mind checked. Well, that was me. Um, we need to practice in the worst way right now because we're, we picked up some bad habits. Because when you get tired and you're fatigued, you start to make mistakes. And I think that's what you guys saw at Cornell. I don't want to take anything away from Cornell. They played a wonderful game, and they played hard. Um, and I don't want to take anything away from USC because they played hard. Um, but we just found a way. You know, Akron's going to win that league. I feel confident. They're an, that's an NCAA tournament team. They're really good. Um, they got a great RPI. They always do. Um, so that's what you're looking at when you when you put the schedule together. You try to put a formula together that's going to give you a chance at the end of the season. Because you know what the Big Ten's going to do. I mean, you're going to have top 50 teams and you're going to play top 10 games, and you know the, that's going to help. But it's teams like like this that are really going to challenge you. Maybe it's not uh, you know Pitt. Maybe it's not Villanova. But yet at, at the end of the day, they're going to be right there in, in top 75 because they, they're, they're going to play great teams. I, I would have loved to play Miami. I mean, that's a top 25 team. They're, they got great depth. They played eight, and we got some big-time players. And Akron played them, so now we get to play Akron. So it's a vicious cycle. But uh, I think our schedule is better than people give it credit for. I really do. I think it's a lot better. And I don't want to look forward to, to Bucknell just yet, but that's on the road. And from, from my sources, they probably should have beat Villanova, from what people tell me. So that's going to be another, you know, challenge. But I'll focus on Akron right now. what did you learn about the team this weekend? Um, just that, you know, how much trust we got, how much faith we, we got in each other. Um, you could tell when, when, when it got down, everyone, no one was, like, scared. No one thought that we were going to lose. Everyone still thought, you know, we still had a chance to win those close games. And uh, for me, as a leader, as a captain, um, as a senior leader of this team, it, it makes it easier for me to understand that no matter what's going on, my teammates still got my back. What's it say about this group that you're able to win those close games, those tight battles like you did on, on Friday night and then again last night against USC? What did you learn in, in that sense about not only you but the rest of the guys in terms of contributions consistent throughout those tight games? Well, um, that, that, that's just based off the habits we created. You know, Coach always says in the closed game, in the possession game, your bad habits are going to be exposed. Um, in our case, you know, some of our good habits uh, came out the ones we created throughout from the summertime up until this point, um, which is good to see. You know that you know what we're doing, attitude club defending the rebound, it works. You know we happen to hit some shots. Defensively, when you look at field goal percentage from your opponents, things have been pretty good in that sense. What do you feel like you guys are doing well on defense? I'm um, just talking early and often, um, being aggressive on defense, um, just moving um, and kind of a little, a little bit of anticipation, um, just kind of. Knowing where to go, knowing like their plays, and our coach is doing a good job of scouting out the teams and telling us what they're going, what they're going to, what the guys' strengths are, and we're just you know watching it and uh, seeing what we got to do. You're shooting the ball at a really high clip right now. What what type of comfort level do you have with the ball in your hands? Um, I feel real comfortable, um, you know. But uh, you know, coach doing a good job of putting me in positions where I want to be, and then my teammates doing little things for me, you know, screening hard, rolling hard, getting the spot, space on the floor. On the way, Shep shooting the ball, John Johnson and BT guys like that just shoot the ball so well that teams can't just kind of sag in and help in. Um, so it's giving me more room to operate. So I give the credit to all those guys. Another quick turnaround, but are you happy to be back home? You play Akron tomorrow here in the BJC. Oh uh, yeah, man. I mean. Up in Charleston, it was great, but uh, ain't nothing like no place like home. <laughs>